That is right, on that time once again for even more 2K17 news and updates. If you missed the first video today, that contained a fair bit of new info, so link to that one down below. In this one, we've got some more new stuff to cover, but as always, links to all the original sources in the description, so feel free to check those out. And with that said, let's get into today's brand new video. So let's kick this one off with a little clarification on the brand new ringside finishers. So as I understand it, ringside finishers are two more alternative finishers that are purely available for use on the outside of the ring. So you have got your two main finishers for in the ring and these two ringside finishers for out of the ring. Now from what I can tell, not only will this give your finishers more variety, but the main reason of this being better accessibility. So for example, if you're fighting at ringside or even in the crowd and have say a top rope finisher or a corner finisher, usually those types of finishers can't be done because obviously the required positions aren't available. So having the ringside finishers counters that problem, which is going to make sure you have finisher options available no matter where the action is taking place. Also in terms of ringside finishers, as we covered in a previous video, it is said there is a pop-up catch and style slash, which is pretty cool and can hopefully also be used as a regular catch and finisher. There has also been two brand new skills spotted this year, which are the brawl skill and the stare down skill. These are brand new skills for 2K17 and feature three different levels and are in relation to the brand new promo feature that we're going to be seeing for this year's universe mode and my career mode. So the Brawl skill enables you to attack the opponent during a promo and transition into a Brawl and the Stare Down skill temporarily reduces the amount of points the opponent can earn during the next node. This can be used one time per promo, the opponent's score for the next node will be reduced to 85%. Now we've not really heard the term node used in this series before, at least to my knowledge, so no more details available as of yet, but stay tuned for details and clarification on that hopefully coming in the very near future. Next up, a couple of smaller bits to touch on. Firstly, as part of the backstage brawl match, not only can you throw your opponent through the doors in order to get to the next area, but you can also simply approach the door and press L1 which will open it. Secondly, a note now on the taunts this year, which as we know have had some pretty big changes, as it has now been said that your left side taunt on the D-pad gives you an increase to your finisher bar, whilst your right side taunt makes your attack stronger for a short period of time. Now to finish up today's video, we have got some potentially pretty big news with some potential superstar confirmations because during an interview, which will be linked down below, Sasha Banks not only confirmed Bailey for the game, but also seemed to confirm Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. Now it's unclear if this was said in error or if these superstars are actually going to be on the roster. I would say as far as Bailey goes, that were not surprising and I would say Bailey will be on the roster. But in terms of Guerrero and Mysterio, not really too short so that remains to be seen. Although I guess we will see pretty soon as there is only two weeks of roster reveals to go. So once again, that is it for another 2K17 video, but let me know your thoughts on today's news as I comment down below. As always, stay tuned to the channel and the series playlist for plenty more 2K17 content coming very, very soon. And until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.